Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going Funko Pop hunting, and I'm looking for the new Candyland as well as McDonald's Funko Pops, so fingers crossed we can find them today, and let's get started. All right, everybody, so we made it to the first EB Games of the day, so fingers crossed they've got some of those pops. All right, so we've made it in the back now, and from the looks of it, it looks like they did get some new figures in. And now the question is, where do I start here? Because there are so many pops. I guess we'll start with down here, where they got an Ozuna. Now, this one is one of the brand new Pops Rocks characters, and I don't know his music too well, but I do know that a lot of people really did enjoy him when they announced him. And then a little bit farther over, guys, they have the Lucha Libre, as well as Dune, and two of the new Fortnite ones, and I am trying to get every single Fortnite Funko Pop, so I think we're definitely gonna have to get these ones today. And then guys, a little bit higher up, I found one of the street art collection, and this one is of Luke Cage. I have shown off the Daredevil one on the channel before, but I don't know if I've shown off Luke Cage, so I thought I would show it off today, because this one is really nice, and I love the colors on this thing. Now here is a cool pop that I don't think I've seen here before. This is part of the Retro Toys line, and this is the Dr. Mindbender. Let me see who's in the set here. Oh, it's just Dr. Mindbender on the back. I know they have made other G.I. Joe ones in the past. I just don't know which ones they are. Oh! They have Ross from Friends. This is the newer one. It's a little damaged, so maybe I'll wait on this one and see if they have it at the other EB games that we're going to later today, because it looks like it's a little bit beat up. So we'll wait on this one, but I definitely want to see if I can find this one. Oh, and also, guys, I do want to mention, I've been looking around a little bit more, and I don't see any of the Candyland figures or the new McDonald's ones. I did get one of them here, but it looks like they probably sold out. So let's keep going. Well, all right, everybody, the next store that we're going to is Michael's, because we haven't been here in a while, and they do have a small pop section, so maybe they restocked on something. Well, let's just say this was worth a shot, and uh, let's keep going. They do not have much, and I actually think they have less than the last time we were here. Even though these bunnies aren't real, does anybody else feel bad for them? Well, all right everybody, we are out of Michaels because they had absolutely nothing new. So let's go into our second EB Games. All right, everybody, so we made it over to the pop section and I thought I would show off the new stuff because there isn't much, but there is a couple things different from the other EB Games. Starting with this here, this is, uh, it's from Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's the Drizzt Dorn and Gwenevar. Gwenevar? <laughs> We're gonna go with that on this one. But this is a nice set. I just don't play Dungeons and Dragons, so I'm not gonna grab it today, but I really do like this two pack. And then they also have the Thanos Earth 18138. This one is one that I have definitely shown off on the channel before because I did purchase it a while ago. And then they also have another one of this one and then the King Deadpool. And this one is an amazing figure. I love the detail on this one. And then just above those ones, they do have some of the new Rocks characters with Left Eye. They also have T-Boz or T-Bows or T-Boz, one or the other. And then they also have Chili as one. I'm pretty sure there's only three of them and none of them have the chases here. I did check, but they are pretty cool because they are on like a little platform of water. You guys can see that on the side of the figure there. And I think that is a really nice addition on Funko's part. And then a little bit over here to the left, I did notice that they got in the pop television Monica Geller. And I was looking for different ones. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting Monica as a cat. I mean, here, here we have. I mean, here's the thing. I like friends, but I don't know how many Monicas we need. Um, I was gonna hope to get Ross Geller and then maybe the Chandler Bing, but it doesn't look like they have either of those here. And it's just the Monica for today. You know what, guys? I was going through the sale section over here, stuff that's been around for a little while, and I found this. This is the Captain America and Red Skull Dorbs 2-pack made by Funko. And instead of it being, like, what, probably $20 like it used to be, it's only $7.19. So I think I'm going to be picking up a Dorb today. I don't do it often, but this is a nice one. All right, guys, so I got the Dorbs, but then I also got something else that was pretty cool behind the counter. So I'll show you that when we get back to the studio. But next up, let's go over to Walmart. All right, everyone, well, we made it to Walmart, and I'm going to be checking the Pops as well as the Pokemon cards. So fingers crossed they have at least one of those. Well, there is absolutely nothing in the Pokemon section, and when I mean nothing, I mean there's not even a battle deck. So, let's go check out the Pops because they might have something there. Fingers crossed on that one. Well, all right, everybody, I came to the electronics section to see what pops they have, and it is the exact same as last time, so nothing good. Well, all right, everybody, that is it for Walmart. They really didn't have much new in terms of pops or Pokemon. Actually, I didn't see a single pack of Pokemon cards, which was kind of crazy. And also, I had a funny idea for a video, and what do you guys think about this? Living in a Walmart cart corral for 24 hours. I don't know if you guys would like to see that. Please let me know. But anyways, guys, I did see that Dollarama was getting in some weird exclusives, like one that was a shared exclusive possibly to, I want to say, Michael's in the U.S., and then they also had one exclusive to Barnes & Noble, which was a weird Harry Potter. I saw it in, well, actually, no, if you can find the photo, put it right there for everybody so they can see it. But if you can't find it, I don't know where it was. It might have been on Twitter, or it could have been on Reddit. I don't know. I see photos a lot of places. But anyways, let's go over to the Dollarama and see if they have those, because I would love to check, and maybe they do, so you guys can get some as well. All right, so we made it to Dollarama, but the only question is, are they open? I hope so. 
All right, everybody, so it looks like they did get in some new figures over at Dollarama, which is good, but I kind of want to show you which ones they got in, starting with the Torbjorn right here, which is a really great character, and I'm pretty sure I had picked this one up here before, but then down here, you guys might find this one a little bit suspicious. They got in the fan vote winner, Iron Spider. Seem familiar? And I mean, to be fair, guys, I was never actually doubting that they didn't get them here, but this just makes it a little bit more obvious. And if you guys didn't see that video, I definitely recommend it, because it's a bit of a weird one. If you guys want to go back, it's my Etsy mystery box, so you guys don't have to. Also, I don't normally show off the Hot Wheels cars over at Dollarama, but I found this one that was Uno, and I thought this one was too cool not to show you guys. All right, everybody, so we are now back from pop hunting, but before we show off all the stuff that I did pick up, didn't you guys think that that was a little suspicious over at Dollarama? I'm guessing where I did get that Etsy mystery box was directly from the dollar store. But nonetheless, we did get some really great figures today, so let me start with, I guess, the first EB Games, and then we'll go to the second one after. So for EB Games number one, I didn't get anything too crazy. I only got some Fortnite Funko Pops, but I am trying to get every single one of the Fortnite ones, and I've kept up with it pretty good. I think the only thing Thing that I am missing is one of them. I don't remember who it was. Maybe a Ragnarok, maybe a glow-in-the-dark Ragnarok. I think that's the only one I'm missing. It was the t-shirt bundle to Walmart. That is the only one that I'm missing that I have every single one besides the new wave. But for today, I got Scratch, which is a completely white and gray figure. And I, to be honest, thought they canceled this one. Now this was probably around when Funko was canceling some of the waves due to COVID and them just not being able to make all of them at once. So they probably canceled the Fortnite one to bring it back a little bit, but I am so glad that they are finally coming out with it now because these figures, from what I've seen so far, look pretty great. And the one that I do want the most in this set here is probably Meow Skulls, and I did not get that one today, but I think I saw that one on EB Games' website a little while ago, so I'll probably just get it there. Now that was Scratch, and that one's a bit of a simple character just because it literally is only like black, white, and gray colors but for this one here the other one that I got was the scientist and this one has some really nice details it's actually a bit of a darker figure so it is kind of hard to see in the box but you can see like the claw on his arm there as well as like the red on the mask and I think that so far really gives it some nice detail now let me actually pop some out of the box real quick just so you guys can see it a little bit closer up because it is hard to see it through the window of the box because of how dark it is inside this box Oh, okay, I would have never noticed that. There are some orange accents on this one, as well as some small avocado-looking things in the middle there. Can you guys see that? There are like two tiny avocado halves on his front there, and I know they're not supposed to be avocados, but they definitely look like them. And then, if you guys have this figure, you might have noticed it, but in the box, I did not see this at all, there is a large tube going on the back of the figure there. I thought it might have just been things sticking out on the sides, but no, there's a huge tube on the back. And now, this is actually all I got over at the first EB Games, and I was really glad that we were going to another EB Games a little bit later on in the day, because I didn't think this was enough for a good pop hunt for you guys. Also, I'm just noticing now, there's a lot of scratches on the back of this figure, but it still looks good, so I don't really care. And if you guys want to see the other four in this set, there they are on the back there and to be honest I had no clue that they made a TNTina until I saw the back of this box today. I don't think they ever showed that one off originally. Maybe it was a later on afterthought or maybe I just missed it and didn't even notice that she was part of the wave but still it's one of those ones that I definitely overlooked. All right now let's go through the stuff that we got over at the other EB games and I guess we'll start with this right here which is a really great two-pack and I don't show off Dorbs very often like I had said earlier but this one here was just too cool not to pick up and it was only $7 and 19 cents and it was already reduced from 12.98 i think originally this probably would have been about maybe 20 25 dollars so this really was a great buy for this cheap now i want to take the stickers off to see if i can see what the original price of this character was right here so it says 11.68 but there's another sticker under that and i would love to find out what price that actually was. Here, give me a second here. Let me see if I can figure that out. So if you wait all the way from 2018, you could get this figure for, hold on, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, $24.99. It is really, really faded. I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it very lightly says $24.99. There is a bit of a rip in the middle there, but I can definitely see the two and the four and then some of the 99 there. So you know what, guys? This is a pretty good find in my books. And if you guys wanna see what the characters look like, like, I don't show off Dorbs very often. This is a line that Funko does not make anymore, but I do want to show you guys these just a little bit closer.
closer up because I really do love some of these dorbs and the details. And here is the first one, which is the Captain America. And I'm probably going to be taking these out of the box just because the box doesn't look the greatest. There's some pretty big dings on it as well as some sticker residue. But the Captain America, this is like, I guess the comic book version of Captain America has some really nice details, especially with the shield and then the wings on the helmet. And then if you guys want to see the Red Skull, it's a little, I guess, simpler, you could say, but it still looks really great. And we don't get a Red Skull figure very often from Funko. So this one was a definite pickup for me. And one thing that I found really cool about the Dorbs boxes versus the Funko ones is normally for Funko you would just see the front of them but for the Dorbs you could actually see the back side of the characters as well so you could get a full well almost 360 look at them without taking them out of the box it's close you probably get like 340 you can't see the side sometimes but it's a good amount of the figure all right, now let's get into the last character that I picked up for today, which is another kind of weird Captain America. Anyways, let me grab this one here. This is part of the street art collection, and I'm trying to remember the other street art ones that I have. Ye oh, okay, so it's Miles Morales and Daredevil. Do I also, I swear I also have Stan Lee. Is that true? I think I only have two though. Maybe I only have the two. Anyways, I want to get this one today and I also might grab the Luke Cage one now that I've seen it. But uh, this one right here is a really nice one. I love the red, white, and blue with this. I think it looks great on the backdrop there as well as on the figure. And I know some people are hating on these, but I really do enjoy them. And I think the only reason why you could hate on these figures is because you can't really tell who the characters are sometimes. But with the colors as well as the small details that you do get and the great power poses Funko puts them in, I think it does kind of show off the character pretty well. And if you're having trouble telling which character it is in the box, you could definitely tell who it is as soon as you take it out of the box because it says right across the front of them, Captain America and a really cool kind of like spray paint signature. And then it also says Marvel and then it's got a Funko crown and it says New York. Some pretty nice details on this one, I will say. And now to be honest, guys, I feel like we've pretty much pop hunted at all of these stores that I like to normally go to. So I feel like we're gonna have to wait a couple days for another pop hunt, but I really did enjoy going to a lot of different stores to show you guys what's new. But before we get out of here, of course, Let's spin the wheel. All right, guys, let's spin this thing and see what we get today. I'm hoping for, we've done a lot of Marvel stuff today, so Marvel would be a pretty cool one to get. Anyways, let's spin this thing and see what we get. Disney. Disney owns Marvel now. No, I gotta do a Disney character. I tried doing that with Star Wars. I can't do that. I'm starting to get to that point where I don't know which figures I've done for the pop of the day. But anyways, the one that I've got for today, I hope I haven't done this one already, is the Diamond Edition Orange Bird from Disney Parks. And now this one here is a great Funko Pop. I love this one and really hope that I can get the original one eventually. But I mean, here's the thing. The Diamond Edition one isn't that different, so I don't really care if I do. But I'm just so glad that I at least have one of the Orange Birds. And if you guys don't know, the Orange Bird is mainly over in Disney World, not Disneyland. Because if you guys have ever been to Florida, there are a lot of orange groves. I guess groves is the word because if you guys have been on Soren, you've definitely seen them before and have definitely smelt them. But this is just one of those characters that I'm so glad that Funko turned into an actual pop because you see a lot of this merchandise all around the parks. And if you guys want to know when this one came out, it was back in 2018. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Ops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Drippin' like a school. 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 School.